What's up, Davers? It's Nick, the ASMR nerd. And tonight, I'm gonna play some of Thief. Uh, as usual, it's been a little while since the last one, but not as long as it has been in past. I'm making a really conscious effort to get these episodes out a little more frequently than I have done in past, and I think I'm succeeding. again for keeping me on track with these with your little reminders and requests you know I love you guys and your enthusiasm for this game so uh, today I think we're going to be finishing up the lost city at least I hope so I think we will let's jump right in alright so if you recall in episode 2 just extended the um, bridge here across the lava so we now have access to what was once the arena and um, we're sort of moving from here up through here I think we've explored most of the level at this point we've been over here and there were some tombs over there spent time down here last time. Uh, we started up this way and uh, this place was all sunken under lava as was this area. But we've sort of been through here and all around so uh, I think all we really have left is to go here and just work our way up here uh, to the final resting place of the fire talisman which is what we're here for of course. So that's our primary goal although we also have to recover at least one more keeper medallion I got one but there's probably one or two more um, from a lost expedition an ill-fated keeper expedition and then we gotta get out of here so I reckon we can do that in today's episode we will certainly try you know, I was told <laughs> by uh, one of you viewers that evidently uh, you don't actually have to extend this bridge. Apparently, if you time your jump just right, you can actually jump across and mantle up onto here without having to do that whole getting the lever from the doom and extending the bridge thing. But I didn't try it, <laughs> and I didn't know. So we went and did all that. And to be honest, uh, we, got, we got some treasure over there anyway. And we got some, um, one of the keeper medallions over that way. So we kind of had to go there anyway. So there could be mages about to keep an eye out from ages. Although I've not heard any nearby. Um, shall we go check out this weird tunnel over here? This looks like a slightly risky jump, I guess, over the lava, so we better quick save. Which is F11. Is that right? Save. I think it is saving. Sure. <laughs> Let's hope so. I think normally it shows a prompt. I didn't see the quick save prompt pop up, but the game did pause for a moment, so I'm assuming it worked. This is the area above where we were before. I kept looking at this, wondering if we could get up here, and indeed we probably could have. 
have, I could have used a rope arrow on that beam and then mantled up, but we were down there earlier. There's that bridge that we extended and the weird teenage mutant ninja turtle looking face. Lots of treasure. Very good, very good. Yes, indeed, my friends. I'm feeling very motivated to play Thief and, uh, and get through it a little bit faster than I have historically done. <laughs> uh, because uh, a good friend of the channel She uh, was playing through Thief 2 not that long ago, and uh, just her talking about it and how great it is reminds me that <laughs> this is my deep dark secret. Shamefully, oh, what's this? That's cool. Uh, shamefully, I never finished Thief 2, um, which may, might come as a shock to many of you. Uh, I honestly have no good reason for not playing all the way through Thief 2, um, because it is very similar to Thief 1, but an improvement in many ways, and it is indeed considered by some to be the best entry in the Thief series, and yet uh, I never completed it, so uh, that is my shame. <laughs> I, for whatever reason, at the time it came along, at the time I was uh, playing it, I just, I guess something else came up and distracted me, I just never, I never did it, so uh, I would love to play through Thief 2 with all of you on the channel, uh, and the first bit of the game will be familiar to me, but uh, there will be, oh gosh, <laughs> I thought it was worth looking out here. I thought there might be something. Evidently, I was wrong. I had to check, though. Now, now I know. I guess I could have just leaned out the windows. I don't think there's anything out here. No. Okay. And we can't get up top. Good to know. Good to know. So, yes, once I finally finish Thief 1, whatever that might be, however many years from now, I should check for fire arrows. Sometimes they put them in the torches or in the braziers. Not this time. Uh, whenever I finish up Thief 1, we will carry on to Thief 2. So you've got years and years of... ASMR thieving coming at you. And I think if I make a concerted effort to get out one of these thief episodes, say, well, I don't want to promise anything, but every, you know, month or two, which is what I'm sort of currently doing. Uh, then I think that's sometime next year, probably. <laughs> but hey, better late than never, right? This is a pretty epic looking construction, isn't it?
considered by many to be an absolute classic. Oh, oh this looks like Dead Keepers, probably a medallion over there. We'll get there in just a moment, but I wanted to finish poking around over here. Can't get there this way, but we can probably drop down from up here. sounding lava, isn't it? Nope, nothing here. No point in coming back into this corner. <laughs> I love the sounds. Nowhere to stick a rope arrow. So I 
guess there's nothing. This is a little gruesome. Just a skull on a spine. seen the sturdy tower to which the keeper journal makes reference. We saw it on our way in, and in fact we saw the fire talisman perched on the ledge. But we could not access it from where we were. Yeah. Creepy indeed. I've got some real Cthulhu vibes here. Although <laughs> the textures have been upgraded thanks to the mod, but the actual the actual uh, model is like seven polygons, but it's very much a squid-faced looking. Access the second floor with a rope arrow, I think. There might be something up there. <laughs> There's silver nuggets in there. I wonder if we can drop in. Or we could probably jump across, although that seems a little bit risky. Let's try a quick save. We'll be able to recover this rope arrow. Dangerous. 
was dangerous, it was almost disastrous. This looks a little safer. that precarious ledge they describe. Oh. I don't think we were seen there. Even if we were, I don't think they can get up to us. I don't think there's any reason to waste water arrows on them. Uh, it was up there somewhere. Saw. Yeah, that ledge, I think. Fire talisman's just up there somewhere. Okay. I always think that the the animation for the lava surface in this mod, this HD texture mod looks kind of like the surface of the sun, doesn't it? It's kind of cool. Okay, let's head on in. Well, we've got lights illuminating our way. Another kind of slightly Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle looking face. <laughs> A little bit, right? I'm not crazy. TMNT face. Although this one's much closer. Uh, give me the willies. satisfied our treasure requirement for this 
this level, we'll have a lot to start the next level with, which is great. A scroll. Fire rains upon us from the sky. At the temple of Nlaotep, four hallowed geldings were offered to appease the acrimonious earth. The sanguine overture has done nothing to pacify her. Yikes. So this is where the stairs have collapsed, and we must head out onto the ledge. Long way down. Well, it's a long way down. is how do we get up? Not here, that's for sure. <laughs> that's a quick way to get down, though. There's those spirits. I don't think they've seen me yet. The elementals, I mean. Okay, uh, the way up must be Let's, uh, let's just check. Okay, so nothing there. That would be the way that we would have taken up with the stairs intact. But down here, a chest trapped, perhaps. Maybe. No, <laughs> but empty. <laughs> totally empty. Okay. What about this one? Also empty. Disappointing. What's not disappointing is that we are finally here. We've finally reached our goal. Shall we grab it? Oh, interesting. It keeps burning even after we have the talisman. So, I guess we just have to backtrack now. Trace our footsteps. Um, you know, I didn't really consider the fact. Oh, well, there's more 
fire spirits down there, but now that we have the talisman, I don't think they're going to bother us. Um, I did not consider the fact that we somehow have to get back down onto this ledge without damaging ourselves. Do we have any health potions? That seems like a... Oh, we do. Yeah. Let's just quaff the potion. And then, I guess we're going to have to try and jump for that, but I have very little faith that we're going to be able to jump out of here, grab that rope, and hang on to it, given the janky physics of this game. Let's, um, let's make a hard save. That seems pragmatic at this point. Okay. Goes nothing, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. That went just about as badly as I could have. As I could have gone. It's like I guess I could just crouch and inch my way up. <laughs> oh wait, what am I doing? I'm an idiot. We can totally just. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being stupid. Let's grab that, and we can just go down this way. There we go. <laughs> you guys are watching, you're like, oh my god, Nick, are you stupid? The answer is sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. You're probably screaming at your phones or monitors or whatever you're watching this on. Okay, let's put this talisman situation to the test. Hello. How are you? Okay. Oh, what? Come on. Come on. That's rude. That's so rude. The, the thing, it said, it said that you wouldn't. I have to, maybe I have to have it like out in my inventory. Hey, hey, look and I've got the thing. You're not supposed to attack me. I'm really disappointed. That seems like a detail they really should have accounted for. If they're gonna write about it, they really ought to. Oh gosh, how many of these things are there now? This whole place is going to be full of them, isn't it? Okay, well, we just got a YOLO. We just got to run for it. What's the fastest way out of here, you guys? I guess we just have to backtrack quite a ways. Was that other door kind of thing um, opening into the the lava pit back by that uh, tower where we found the talisman? But I don't think there's any way we could have gone through there. Um, I don't think we could have reached it. So I think we just gotta backtrack this way. So yes, I would really like to play Thief 2. And, oh gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't mean to jump that far. Sometimes it's so hard to gauge how far you jump. Gosh, how far back do I have to... Oh, come on. You're kidding me, right?
This is just tedious backtracking now. Well, you guys are here to relax, so just chill out while I play through this boring uh, backtracking. <laughs> what was I saying? Thief 2, Thief 3. Yeah, I'm terrible at finishing games, honestly. It's more surprising that I did finish Thief 1. a serial game non-finisher. I don't know why I play many games, but I rarely play them to completion, and I'm sure that drives many people crazy. But it's just how I've always been. The list of games that I've actually finished are is, is pretty short. <laughs> Thief 1 is one of them, of course. some of the 2014 Thief reboot and uh, was not terribly impressed. It had some cool ideas. Okay, let's quick save here. Uh, and it had... I probably could have just done that. <laughs> that would have been smart. Uh, the 2014 Thief reboot, reboot had some, some good ideas and it was pretty setting, but it was too different. It was not this thief. It was not the thief that we know and love. Um, you know, yes, you play as Garrett, but it was a very different kind of Garrett, with a very different voice actor. Um, and yes, you're in the city, but not as we know it. It's a uh, I said a much more sort of Victorian era version of the city rather than this sort of steampunk medieval I'm just gonna run past these guys <laughs> uh, rather than the steampunk medieval that we're familiar with from Thief 1 and 2 and 3 and it just lost so much of what made Thief Thief I think on its own merits it wasn't a bad game at least from what I played but um, it wasn't the thief that I, I know and love, and that was disappointing. But if we ever do complete Thief 1, 2, and 3, and it's the distant future of the year 2029 or something, want, we can play the Thief reboot. Also, rip Burke. Rip and pepperonis. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry we had to murder so many Burks to get our treasure. Okay, we're almost back at the start. You guys remember this? Let's hard save just in case something terrible happens. I think that's probably worth doing to get out of here somehow. I think we got into here. Oh, there's still a burrick. We must not harm the burrick, however. We must not. There must be at least one burrick left down here. What is that noise? It's scary sounding. Something shooting fireballs. by Stephen Russell. They could totally do a passing the torch kind of game. I'd be okay with that, but I want Stephen Russell voicing Garrett, and I want my my class. 
classic setting. I want my sprawling levels with multiple roots of spiders. I think that's it. I think we're done, you guys. Hey, that wasn't so bad at all. And that actually means that uh, we had a bit of a shorter episode here. Sorry to disappoint. I usually like to get these up around the one hour mark, but um, because uh, you know we're starting a new level, I'm going to uh, you know call it in just a moment here, and we will start the new level in a fresh episode. I will try and get that out again a bit sooner rather than later. You guys can always keep reminding me. I love your little <laughs> your gentle reminders. So to recap, on expert difficulty, we found the entrance. That wasn't too difficult. We got uh, well over 2,000 loot, including over 500 in gems. I think we ended up with over 3,000 in loot, honestly. We recovered two keeper medallions from the lost expedition, which we now know to be the expedition that brought the medallion down into the lost city in the first place. They were able to get it there, but they were not able to get out afterwards because all those elementals turned hostile on them. And uh, even though they said that the elementals were not hostile, when they held the medallion on the way in, and yet they were hostile towards me when I held the medallion on the way out. so. Maybe they didn't want me stealing it. I guess maybe that was it. I don't know. Uh, we obtained the talisman of fire, and we did, in fact, leave the lost city. Let's take a look at our stats, all totaled in this uh, this mission. It took us about two hours and twenty three minutes. That excludes reloading and such. So two and a half hours or something. That's a bit quicker than we've done the last couple. I feel like we are up around the three hour mark in uh, the last few levels. We almost found all the loot. I thought we were so, so thorough, but there was less than a hundred loot that we missed out on. But that's not too bad, honestly, for uh, you know, we weren't following or anything, and I haven't played this level for, you know, 15 years or more, probably, so, um, that's not so bad. No locks to pick, of course. Apparently we stabbed someone in the back, I don't know who or when. Maybe a mage, because, uh, we, we were actually allowed to deal lethal damage to the mages in this level. I'm still not sure why there were mages in this level, honestly. Uh, I'm not sure what they were doing there. Like, clearly the mages knew that the talisman was here because we found that information in the mage towers. But what would they have been doing here? I guess they were excavating the tomb. They were, they were on some kind of research mission, maybe. They just happened to be hanging out while I was here trying to some knockouts we dealt a lot of damage because we killed a lot of bureks we killed a lot of fire spirits or elementals we killed a lot of mages 16 healing or 16 damage taken and 12 healing so we burned through a lot of health potions as well innocents killed none <laughs> but we killed 21 others two bodies were discovered. You know, this mission, as cool as it is, I do think the environment is really neat. I love that map, as I've said before. I think the setting is cool. And I'm always down for a good, uh, you know, archaeological adventure, a bit of a dungeon delve. But I have to say, uh, it doesn't really capitalize on what Thief does best, which is stealthing around and bopping people on the back of the head. There wasn't much of that in this mission. It was a bit more of an action-oriented mission. But 
that's okay. You know how to break things up, change the pacing up a little bit. Um, but I do think, I feel that Thief is at its best when you're sneaking around a big nobleman's manor in the dead of the night, and you're smacking guards on the back of the head and stealing all his riches, finding secret passages in the walls and such. That's my favorite kind of Thief mission. Which reminds me, there are fan missions for Thief 1 and 2 as well, many of them very well regarded um, amongst Thief fans, many of them quite famous in the Thief uh, community. I've never played any of those fan missions, but maybe we'll take some time after finishing Thief 1 and before carrying on to Thief 2 to do some of the, the most prominent, well-known, and uh, most highly regarded fan missions. I think that would be a lot of fun. Fan missions are, of course, missions that are made by players, by fans. They were sort of mod maps before there were a lot of people doing that kind of thing. And some of them date back right to the early days because uh, they did release the map making tools, uh, I believe, along with the game or shortly thereafter. So that legacy of map making for the Thief uh, games is very uh, long and rich indeed. Um, and to this day, there's still a vibrant community of people uh, who work on those things. Campaign totals, 21 hours, 49 minutes. So if you count all my rambling like this at the end of missions, at the beginning of missions, and all the quick saves and quick loads that we've done, uh, we must be, I don't know, around the 23 hour mark maybe, 23 to 24 hours of total playtime in this series, probably 24 plus, if you added up all the videos, almost 19,000 loot, and of the damage we've dealt, almost over a quarter of the total damage we've dealt in this campaign so far was in this mission alone. This is a very aggro mission. <laughs> All right, my friends. Well, uh, I guess I'll wrap it up now. I lengthened this video by rambling for a little bit, but uh, I think we've seen what we need to see here. So the next mission will be, I believe, the Song of the Caverns. Now, I think that was a mission that was added in the Gold Edition of Thief. It did not exist in the initial release. And if I recall, um, you spend a bunch of time in some caves, and then you end up in an opera house. So I leave you with that little teaser, because I think I recall it being a pretty cool level. But again, it was a very long time ago that I played it, and I think I probably only played it once, so my memory of it is very, very foggy. But I believe that's where we get the water talisman, I, if I recall correctly. So that's something to look forward to, uh, coming to a channel near you in the not too very distant future. I'll try and get it out within, uh, you know, in, the, in a month or so. Uh, thank you all again, as usual, for your patience with me. Um, and thank you so much for your continued support and enthusiasm for the series and uh, keeping me on track with it. Uh, it means a heck of a lot to me. And I love having all of you 